All right, Cody, brother, this one's for you. So, I have taken out one, two, two. three bolts three. that hold this alternator together. Okay? We've got the front of the alternator and the back of the alternator. Here's your two field wires, which power your rotor, right, with these two connections right here. Now that's what you want to put direct current to. Uh, you want to put a diode in there so that you can direct traffic or direct the flow. You want the direct current to go around this and around this and go right back into your battery. You don't want to short out your battery and just sit there and let it get hot and everything. So that's why we're going to put a diode on there. Uh, if you're not exactly sure what I'm talking about, um, this, this is what I mean. A diode on your field wires. Um, this one right here looks like a six amp mm, yeah that's what it says uh, six amp uh, the side that has the line on it is the grounded side so if I put it on here like so then I would hook the positive in here and the negative in here because the negative is going to go in and come back flow this way uh, you can't put power Power will not go this way through this diode, but it will go this way through the diode So if you hook it up right it won't even spark You hook it up wrong you'll get sparks That's how you know So, uh, But this is a <laughs> This is a different story right here uh, Not finished with this project. I'm I'm working on that one, but uh, I usually power oh if you can find anything like this, uh, grab it because uh, 50 plus 5, I mean, that's just, you know, most of them are, most capacitors are 0.9 microfarads or, you know, plus or 3, plus or minus 3%. But anyways, that's, that's not the, what here, this is what we're doing the video for. Uh, you take your alternator apart, okay, here's the, here's the front, here's the back, and this alternator hasn't been modified or anything, it is, uh oh, get that over there, oh, I don't want to break this, my high voltage converter, right. anyways, so what you're going to have in here and that connects here and there is this brush and this brush which if you'll notice those are your two field wires like I said that uh, go to your uh, rotor here which if you'll notice inside there it's just a whole bunch of copper wire round or wound in a circle uh, just like a synchronous motor is done uh, so keep that in mind look up the word look up synchronous motor okay but here's what you were asking about okay I've, I took the bolts off of my three coil wires uh, and my diodes there so I can pull out my coil this time and and show you the uh, a little secret to this okay now that's just three wires and those three wires go one two three 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 one all the way around all the way around this each one of these three wires is and it goes from here and then back down and into this one and back down into this one and back down until it gets all the way around back to uh, that looks like a short almost. 
Anyways, those three wires get all the way back around to right here, and then they're just, that's blurry. Come on. Come on. Well, there you go. Your three coil wires, one, two, three, wrap around all this, they come back to here, and they're just soldered together. Three wires. There's the end of all three wires. So. Don't forget your tail. I'm going to set this back in there. Get these put back on there. And now I'm ready to produce uh, direct current again. Uh, now what this, what this alternator does is it takes a very small amount of uh, direct current voltage on here and then while turning this it propels it off of these coils and off of this steel that it's being absorbed into here and throws it off of there into these coils that are going to sit down on the outside of that when you have the case on it. Uh, I'm hoping I'm answering your questions. Uh, now to get alternate current out of this, all you need is those three wires. You don't even have to take the, the rectifier out of it, you know, to do this. You can actually just bend them up and uh, stick them out this holes right here. And then you've got you know, or you can attach them to a wire, isolate them with some heat shrink or something, and then run them out the very back back here. But that is the modifications on the alternator. Uh, what it actually does in general is these coils throw power into this diode, into this diode, into this diode, and they all come into this isolated bar here. It comes over here and it's got a capacitor on here that uh, rectifies the amount of uh, direct current that it'll let out, the voltage. Um, it's depending on this, it's up to 14 something volts. You take this out and you're going to have a whole lot of voltage coming out of there because it won't, it won't uh, regulate it. But if you'll notice, the other diodes, the other sides of the diodes, are touching the uh, the casing. They, these other, these three diodes are touching the casing. These three diodes are touching this. So it's shorting out on one side, feeding into the other side, and regulating at the same time. You don't need none of this. Uh, alternate current these three you don't have to have all three of them you could actually leave ow you could actually leave uh, let's see from there to that side this is the strongest and then this is the next one and then this one's almost this one almost doesn't put out hardly anything um, almost no power to hear. But, uh, yeah, I hope this helps you out, brother. I'm, uh, the only modification I did to my other alternator was I unhooked, or took, I took out the, the bridge rectifier, because I don't, I didn't want it in there at all. Uh, I, I took it out so I'd have more room in here to, to do stuff. Uh, got them wires out and I didn't I didn't have to tear it completely apart like this uh, which it's only three bolts you know like I said uh, one two and three over there to get this out of here um, but yeah the uh, the coolest part about this is the fact that 
this is uh, wound exactly like a synchronous motor. So, in all actuality, if I magnetized these coils by shorting the circuit and put alternate current to this, it would turn at a very high speed as well. Um, you could do that either way, but uh, the way I was doing it, uh, I was putting direct current to here, and then using my outside coils and hitting a signal one two three one two three one two three to these three coils, and shorten out each one, you know, because they're connected, they're all wired together right over here. So uh, if I put power into this one, I'll get power out of these two as well, or vice versa. So uh, that's all I was. That's all I was wanting to to point out. Uh, in reference to your questions, brother, uh, your alternator ever ever goes out. Uh, this is the only thing that it could ever. I mean, it it can either be this capacitor, these brushes, or these diodes. And these diodes are, yeah. I mean, I I, I don't think it's possible for you. You know, I mean, unless you just tore them up or or it's I don't, I don't know how you could tear those up, honestly. Uh, feeding power into it backwards and until it smokes or something. Nah, I, I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to spend all day on this. Uh, just trying to make you a short video real quick. Um, if I had this magnet stuck inside of here, say I pull this off. I put this magnet inside of here into about the middle of it and I spin this I would get alternate current off of the field wires here which if you'll notice um, there's actually if you can see it here yeah well you can't see it really this yeah you can with my finger there you can there's one of the connections to this and then here's the other connection that goes to this these two leads right here uh, and what it is is this wire goes in there and it's wrapped around a whole bunch of times a whole whole bunch of times it comes back out and it's right here so you got one side of the wire the other side of the wire in here you've got three wires and they wrap around and around and around all the way around until they get back to here and then they're all joined together right there in that little yellow thing that's moving and all three of the wires are just tied together so that's it um, I guess this will be uh, alternator explanations part two but, uh, like I've told everyone, there's there's really no difference between a, an alternator, a motor, and a generator, except for how you wire them up. Um, you're using your field the same way on most of them. <coughs> now, on a, a synchronous motor, it's, it's a little different, but um, it's, it's a lot easier, really. And that's what I want to do is build a synchronous motor slash synchronous generator. Um, I also have in, uh, as soon as I can get some funding, I'm going to build a six phase motor that is uh, only going to use three phases to run. And I'm not going to wire it in star, I'm going to wire it in, in delta. Uh, with capacitor setup, so it'll be more efficient, and I can use a single phase to run a three phase motor. And, uh, well, the over unity in it is, is gonna be amazing, but I've gotta get a shaft and some, some other stuff. Just, I still need parts and stuff, but, uh, right now we're not working on this. Right now we're, we're working on the 
Uh, well, won't zoom in. We're working on the big system right now, uh, which is uh, two t ten thousand watt generator heads. I've got a three and a half, a three horsepower motor over there. It's a compressor duty, uh, or a farm duty compressor motor. Sorry, and I've got a one and a half horsepower uh, hooked up to it as well. So I've got two motors, two generators. I'm going to use one motor to start the system externally, and then I'm going to power uh, the other motor with the system, and then it well. Basically, it's going to power itself and charge itself and power anything you want to hook up to it. So, but you know, like I said, guys, we're we're working on getting funding and everything right now. Uh, I am going to uh, build some models and stuff. Everybody keeps telling me, do an ebook, you'll make a ton of money. Do this, do that, you'll make a ton of money, guys. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to give everyone on this planet free electricity and free water now it's going to cost you a little bit for parts but you'll never have an electric bill again you'll be able to take it with you you can build a smaller one and power your electric car I mean the the possibilities are endless I, I can take this synchronous motor right here which is just a magnet in the middle of a whole bunch of wire coiled together a uh, little bitty wire oh wait I could probably pull it out with one hand maybe oh, I get it out far enough yep I can get it out far enough okay well can you see how small that wire is yeah compared to my finger um, there we go I got one better everybody knows what a double A battery looks like so this little synchronous motor here okay produced 430, 440, a ton of voltage, and and like 4 amps out of this, this right here. Now you tell me I can't take that and power a house? Yeah, I burnt this up by putting a load on it. Um, but you know what? I got the information that I needed from it. What it can do, what it can't do, what happens when you overload it, the the whole nine yards. I, I literally spun this thing thousands and thousands and thousands of RPM with a gear ratio that I set up on here. Uh, but anyways, I don't want to. Oh, I keep rambling. I want to. I want to just sit there and tell everybody everything and explain everything to everybody and just all at once and everybody have all this knowledge of of you know instead of buying you know instead of buying motor controllers and stuff let's let's buy capacitors you know or or something like that anyways i don't know hey y'all want y'all want to see something funny There you go, I got sleepy and passed out. Yep. Okay. And I'm playing with the key cat that's in trouble for peeing in mom and daddy's bed. Yeah, so you're in there with your food and water for uh, yesterday and today. So tomorrow you get out. You're in trouble. Hey, here's a nice little motor that uh, most people never sees anything like this. Uh, you've got one wire that powers this or throws a charge to this basically a transformer and then you've got a magnet on this shaft 
that is propelled by the power coming off of the steel. I'm a slip, and I'm a racer. Pretty neat, huh? I thought so. And I can't get there to show you. That's okay though. Here I'll turn the uh I'll turn the fan blade. See the uh <laughs> see the magnet moving in there. So I'm actually I'm pretty sure if I turn that probably get a charge off of these two wires. Um Maybe not. I don't. I don't think these magnets in there are very strong. So. But anyways, oh, here's a rescue from a couple days ago. You want to say hi to everybody, Lucky? Lucky, come here. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a pretty boy. I want to say hi to them. Yeah, he's a pretty boy. I want to say hi. You want to say hi? Okay, go ahead. Hi. No, it can't talk. It's just a, uh, it's a camera. See, I'm just, re look, I'm just recording and telling people what I, I need to tell them. And then I'm going to put it on YouTube so they can see it. Daddy, uh, these, these, these tires are flat. Hang on, baby, I'm hurting. Flat. Okay, guys, so, uh. Yeah, let's get this thing going. If uh, if I can steal from the rich, I will give to the poor. So let me uh, let me get a shop out here. Let me get everything going. If 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 all my subscribers sent me ten dollars, then then I'd have enough money to do all this and build a whole bunch of prototypes and have a machine shop, and then I could sell these products to all these huge companies for billions of dollars and then I could manufacture all these machines and send them out to everybody all over the world and jump everybody to the gun and give them out for free and uh... Daddy. well free us all Daddy. that's what my plan is Daddy, I want us Daddy. all to be free now, free from Daddy. tyranny Free from injustice and free from, well, free from companies. Daddy, may I please have this orange? Uh, of course. Okay. Why are you even asking? What, is it any good? Oh, no, no. That's not any good, baby. Why? It's not any good. Now, just trust me. It's, it's really soft and spongy. It's not any good. One I.O. to direct the traffic of flow. And one little capacitor to... Uh, capacitors on direct current, guys, uh, act as, as uh, voltage regulators. So, if I take... I'll just... Uh, I'll just unplug it. If I take... If I take 24 volts DC... And I wire the uh, positive or negative into here and then have the other side coming out of here going into something else. Then it won't be 24 volts anymore. It'll be, I think this one uh, regulates it down to 12 volts. But that's not what this was made for. Uh, it, it will do that and it'll do that forever. Well, 10 years. These things don't last forever. But, but uh... Yeah, there's there's a little secret for you. Uh, I know most people don't know, um, and I'm just uh, people keep calling me Tesla, or Tesla, or backwoods Tesla, redneck Tesla, all that stuff. I don't, I don't, I'm not as smart as Tesla was, guys. I'm really not. I mean, I, I, you know, I. I try, and I've taught myself everything I know, uh, except for uh, this stuff, all the new stuff. God taught me all that, which you guys know the story. So, But I don't want to be here all day just talking about rambling on and stuff. So, uh, Daddy, what's this thing? That is a snorkel.
Snooker, did you put your nose in here? Nope, you put your mouth on there. Oh, oh, vitamins. Look, guys, I was on this right here. Um, and I've been on it for a month. I was taking it. It makes me feel five years younger when I take this. Okay? Now, when I started taking it, my body detoxed. I pooped for two days. Okay? Uh, not good poop. This stuff tastes really good. Um, I don't know if it's okay for me to advertise for somebody else without asking them, but, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, youngevity.com. There's actually a phone number there, 1-800-982-3189. Okay, now this has got prebiotics, probiotics, whole foods, trace minerals, I mean, just antioxidants. It's got amino acids, which is the best inhibitor that you can get so that this will, you know, uh, it'll go into your body and everything and be accepted by your body. And it won't be blocked by your kidneys and stuff. But this stuff is great, okay? Now, I got some new stuff. Uh, a man from Australia gave me and... I'm here to tell you guys right now, it's it's a game changer. It really is. It's it's better than anything I've ever had. Um, I feel better than I, I've ever felt. I haven't felt this good since I was a kid. Okay, I'm on this right here, and I take and switch off of that, and start taking the new vitamins and minerals and stuff, and the uh, the fulvic uh, humic concentrate here. Uh, and I pooped for a day. Bad. Bad poop. Bad poop for all day. And that's really saying something. Um, when you're already taking, you know, something to heal your body, and you change it to something better to heal your body, uh, and it flushes you out like you had toxins in you all over again, you know. Uh, I thought that was just absolutely amazing. Um, how about that for a uh, mod battery? It's a 26650. It's still 3.7 volts, uh, 3500 milliamps per hour, uh, which is uh, 3.5 amps. So, anyways... Anyways, I'm not going to get into all the technical stuff because then I might slip up and say something wrong and Lord knows I don't want to do that because then I'll be bashed by 10 or 15 people all at once, all over again. Happens every time I say something the wrong way. But uh, let me, let, I, wanna, I want you guys to see this. Uh, I'm going to go grab these vitamins. Uh, well, you won't miss anything, but I'm going to set the phone down and pause, so. Well, if I can find it, bear with me. Wife likes to move stuff for me, and put stuff up for me. So let me find it. Okay, so uh, my wife didn't move it, I did. Sorry about that, sweetheart. But you usually do move my stuff. Um, so here we have it. This is the uh, this is the reboot kit. It's supposed to be 650 grams, but as you guys can tell, uh, it looks like they it was sent to me. Um, they didn't ask me to advertise it or anything like that. Um, they, you know, were just concerned about my health. Uh, a man that I speak with all the time, uh, supporting us and everything. Uh, love this man to death. Without this stuff right here, I'd be in trouble. Um, it's... <laughs> It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah. I've got, uh, I've got the reboot. I've got the mineralized salt, which this would be the uh, first time I've ever had pink salt like this. But it actually, it tastes really good. It's, it's really great. I uh, love this stuff. Um, Let's see, it contains 80 odd trace uh, elements and essentials. Um, but, uh, 
there are certain instructions for for everyone I believe um, this is I'm just holding it here so you guys can get a good you know get a good picture of it and it's at the uh, 8020 marketplace.com um, I think the website's up and going now I, I don't don't you know uh, don't take you know my 100% word for this because uh, it's a uh, it's a new website but uh, but yeah uh, I went from all of this stuff and everything which is all organic and everything as well um, you know no uh, they're all gluten free and and all that stuff you know really good for you but uh, this is from uh, this this both of these products came from the same type of uh, uh, laboratory um, they started out giving this and and this to horses um, before they did their human trials on it and everything uh, and then they have done human trials on all of this um, and I'm gonna tell you right now this, this stuff right here I don't know uh, since I've had it now I'll I'll have to have it forever because yeah uh, it increases my energy I don't crash it's it's uh, you know I'm able to do stuff for a lot longer so I find myself sitting in the chair hurting thinking man I wish I could get up and do something because I'm not tired you know uh, it, it allows me to think clearer um, and I take this twice a day um, the first time I took it I took uh, six drops directly on my tongue um, that's not for everybody it's uh, it tastes like lemon juice kind of but it has a little bit of a bitter aftertaste and like I said they did human trials on all of this stuff so uh, you know you can get on the 8020 marketplace.com and uh, there's different products on there um, uh, I've already agreed that that I'll be featuring, uh, you know, some of my technologies on there real soon. So I'm, you know, I'm going to go into business with them. Uh, what they do though is, uh, it's basically uh, they they work differently. You don't have to have money. You can do a, a pay it forward program. Um, there's there's well no wait I don't think that's cast off yet, but. Uh, the people that uh, that are manufacturing this and distributing this is uh, well they're helping me they're on the same mission they want to change the world they don't think you know they're just like me they don't think that people should have to pay for water should have to pay for electricity you know um, I, I don't believe that's right you know I can get electricity directly out of the air uh, for free you know why can't everybody else you know so uh, oh my goodness 33 minutes 34 minutes okay yeah let me go ahead and get off here uh, the longer the video is the less that you guys watch of them so uh, I love you guys like and uh, subscribe if you if you like but uh, most importantly uh, share this video share these videos you know uh, we want to get this information and this technology out to the world um, and the easiest fastest and only way that I'm able to do it uh, is through Facebook and through my YouTube site and uh, well before I started accepting friend requests I actually had 300 and something friends people that are actually friends with me that actually know me so if I do accept your Facebook request uh, please don't bother these people there most of them are good people um, some of them are not you know it's just people I want to keep track of trying to help out from the background kind of stuff like that um, 
anyone else who is a good person out there and, and helps other people all the time knows what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Well, if you build a pond and then put the horse inside of the fence, that horse is going to drink that water. So, let's get this, let's get this stuff going, guys. Come on now. Five dollars from every one of my subscribers, and I'll start sending these products out to everybody. Cody, you're getting one first, brother. You're the first one on the list. Uh, Cody and Nick and, and, I mean, Sheila, there's, oh, there's so many of you. I can't name all of you, and I'm not going to say any last names or anything like that. I wouldn't want anybody else to be in jeopardy. Uh, you know, I'm I'm fighting the, the wool companies and the electric companies, so, of course, my life is in, in danger. Um, matter of fact, they came to my house the other day with guns drawn over a... Uh, uh, failure to appear on a driving on suspended when the driving on suspended was <laughs> it was a mistake in the system yeah yeah just a little mistake in the system so now I've got two failure to appears uh, because I didn't go to court twice over it and uh, well long story short uh, they're trying to put me in jail. They're trying to lock me up, and they just don't have anything on me because I legally haven't done anything wrong or illegal uh, yet. Now, when I start shipping these out to everybody for free, I'm going to be in hiding when I do that. But uh, all my manufacturing plants and everything, we, we've got all this under control. Uh, the master plan is set. Um we're just waiting on a little bit of funding from all of everyone out there. Uh, that way I can build these bigger machines and sell them to these, you know, companies who have billions and billions of dollars. And then once I have that kind of money, I'm going to go into large scale production for small machines. And, uh, well, I'm going to give them a, to all the good people out there. So that's my plan. Like it or not, it's going to happen. With or, with, with or without anybody's help, it's going to happen. Um, I don't care if it takes me the rest of my life. Um, it's This is going to happen. As I say it, so shall it be. But uh, I love you guys. You know, don't forget to share this video. You know, uh, you can check out my other videos. There's, there's a lot of, you know, good information on there. Um... As soon as I get funding, the alternator video will come down. It's not doing any good except for bringing traffic to my channel. Um, eh, I, well, let me take that back. I mean, it, it is opening people's eyes, you know, and letting them think, wait, I had more than one motor. It would turn a whole bunch of generators and produce a whole lot more power than what I'm consuming. I think I need to check this guy out a little bit more. So, yeah, it, it is doing good. As far as traffic from my channel and everything, oh, I'm sitting here. I ain't even looking at my phone anymore. Uh, let me show you guys something else. But yeah, uh, like I said, guys, I love y'all. You know, thank you for everything that you know you've done for me. Um, the next step in this project will be this, and then that will be hooked up. Ah, ah, ah. Sciatic nerve ain't nothing to mess with, guys. I'm uh, telling you right now. And then, uh, this is the uh, next part of the project here. Uh, this right here is going to be my capacitor. <clears throat> Electrolytic. And because it'll be separated, it'll be a dielectric. Uh, and because I'm going to have water and oil and separate ground on the bottom and points of entry to almost all um, it will be a transformer uh, so I'm building a electrolytic dielectric transformer basically it's it's gonna be an alternate current battery and uh, with what else I got and everything you know 
uh, we're going to sell these right here to the big companies because bigger is better and badder, you know. But uh, everybody else is going to get something that's, well, going to be on the size of something like that. So, okay, come on. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's quit, uh, BSing around, guys. Okay, I understand if you don't have money, you know, you're on food stamps and everything, don't send me any money. I don't want anybody out there going hungry because I'm going hungry. Well, I'm not going hungry anymore. Let me rephrase that. Uh, I don't want anybody out there going hungry. To help this get completed you know everything happens for a reason and there's a reason why I don't want you to donate okay uh, if you have plenty of money then you need to send me plenty of money donate for 10 people or donate for a hundred people send me a hundred send me a thousand you know what that's gonna do that's gonna shut down the electric companies that's gonna shut down everything and then when they shut down, I'll set my power grids up everywhere and give everybody free electricity. So, uh, I can build these as big or as small as you want. Um, you want one big enough to power your little radio, that's, that's going to be one the size of my hand. Well, it'd need to be a bigger radio than that, but anyways... What I'm saying is they're scalable, and if you want one that'll power a country, you know, I can do that. Or if you want me to put three or four of them strategically around the planet, and, well, we'll just always have power, uh, and it'll only be the cost of linemen and stuff like that, then we can do that too. But, but it's up to you guys. It's, uh, it's not up to me anymore, so... In the name of Yahweh, I pray, and so shall it be. The people of this earth, I will set free. Oh, oh, I don't want to start rhyming, doing weird stuff again. Okay, guys. All right, love you guys. Uh, please share this video. Um, and I will see you guys very soon.